Hi everyone! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome! It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So, welcome to your readings for August of 2018. Summer is almost over. Boo. I know, it sucks. But, on a happier note, I want to give a big ol' happy birthday to the rest of the Leo clan that are finishing out your birthdays. It's your birthday season. I hope you guys had a great one. And I want to extend a happy birthday to the, Var the Virgos. Yeah, we're going to be going into your season soon. So, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, so, down to business. These are general readings, okay? So, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yes, don't try to like fit something in there and then, you know, when it, you know, it really doesn't resonate, it doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, I am officially back in business when it comes to personal readings. Yeah. So if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all of the information in the description box below, um, which includes the readings that I offer, a little bit about them and my email address. Yes. And their prices. If upon reading through them, you don't really know what reading you think would work best for you, just go ahead and email me. We can chat a little bit about your situation and then I should be able to decipher which reading would be best for you. Yeah. If you are in the New York City metro area, I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. That is located on 14th Street between 1st, I'm sorry, between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan. Please come by and see me. I would love to meet you in person. You can either come through as a walk-in, you know, at the time that you want, whenever it's convenient for you, or you can go to the website, which can be found in the description box below, and get their phone number. And from there, you can schedule a reading in advance. Yeah, definitely works out well that way. For the readings this month, I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck. Look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty and golden. Well, actually, you can't, can't really see it that way, but you'll see it when we get into the reading, yeah? And then I will be pulling some Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck by Lucy Cavendish. Yes? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. So, without further ado, let's get to it, yeah? Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for the month of August 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Hi Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for the month of August 2018 for Gemini. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, so when I started channeling your energy before, um, I was seeing pink, which is the color of uncon unconditional love. I'm feeling like some of you are really needing to feel that right now. Um, and the divine is providing it to you, so you don't have to worry, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. There's white, so there could be some protection around you right now. Um, I'm also hearing Divine Grace, Gemini. Now there's blue. And it's funny because there was a light blue coming out for the for Libra and Aquarius. Um, for you, this is more of a cobalt blue. Uh, it's very, very much the throat chakra. There may be some situations in which you're needing to speak some truth, some sort of truth. And that's where the pink is coming in. Um, the Divine is showering you with love unconditional love and acceptance so that you can love yourself enough to accept yourself enough to speak your truth, right? Gemini, Gemini. Yeah, there's that light blue again that came out for Aquarius and Libra. Interesting. Their readings were kind of all over the place, so I'm interested to see how yours is but it's no surprise that communication is on your mind right now is kind of like in the forefront for you because Gemini is very much about communication you know you're ruled by Mercury so yeah all right Gemini I'm gonna give you one more shuffle Okay, and then we're going to cut 
deck. All right, starting you off with oof, Three of Cups in reverse. Uh, I'm seeing the release of some sort of social circle. Probably a toxic one. And I think in some situations, this is where your truth needs to be spoken. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got the Five of Swords in reverse. I like that. We've got the High Priestess in reverse, okay? And we've got the Emperor here. The Emperor is like taking control. I'm hearing taking your power back, taking control of your domain, releasing combative Five of Swords energy, self-destructive, comp competitive um, Five of Swords energy. And the High Priestess in reverse is the truth coming out. Secrets being revealed. Things that you never really told people in the past are now coming out. But this is all in an effort to take control of your domain. So this could be, um, you know, telling some people or it coming across that you don't vibe with like a certain group of people anymore or something and you just don't want them in your life anymore. Removing shit starters from your environment. And this is not in a situ this is not in a way in which um you know it would be combative or um destructive. You're actually trying to avoid that. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Let's get into the storyline, yeah? You starting you off with Oof, justice in reverse. Could be dealing with a Libra. Um, okay, justice in reverse is coupled with the three of wands. Interesting. Um, wow. I f I'm picking up an energy of like something being stolen from you. Like you were working on some sort of project or something. You were waiting for some sort of ships to come in and they just, and you feel like they're never going to come in. Um, someone may have stopped it from coming in and you may have been previously unaware of it. So I'm feeling like someone was just like, kind of like waiting around for something to happen that wasn't going to happen because someone else sabotaged it. I'm also picking up an energy of if you are feeling like something is never going to come in, then you are doing an injustice to yourself by allowing that feeling to stay within your mental space. Because it could come in in a different way. So if you feel, if you're, if you're holding on to a belief that something's never going to happen, well then you're blocking it. So it won't happen, right? There could be also, some of you could be waiting for um, something that could turn an injustice around. Like some sort of injustice happened, like this could be a court case or something, like you're waiting on a judgment over some sort of injustice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, moving forward. Page of Cups in reverse, whoops, with the, the Knight of Wands, upright. Um, I'm seeing a progression here. Someone growing from a Page of Cups to a Knight of Wands, like, and it's not even like they're just going from a Page to a knight in the cup suit. They're like jumping from like this, this like puppy love type thing to like this big old passionate, a little more mature <laughs> situation. I'm also picking up an energy of some things that happened in the past. And this is actually really directly connecting to the, uh, the the justice in reverse with the three of wands. 
there are some things that have happened in the past, probably in childhood, that are fueling a fire of some sort of spiritual warfare now. And I'm seeing, for those of you that this is resonating with, I'm seeing this injustice that happened in the past. You're now using this as a way to move forward in some way or accomplish something with the Three of Wands in the future. <clears throat> And like you're taking, and, and, and now as the Knight of Wands, you're taking this energy and being a torchbearer in some way to illuminate things for others. It's very interesting. Moving forward, we have the Five of Pentacles upright with ugh, the Fool in reverse. I'm hearing needing to take a leap of faith, but... Um, Feeling inadequate. Like you can't take a leap of faith. Because you don't necessarily have what it takes. This could be a fear, a current challenge surrounding this new torchbearer aspect of yourself. Hmm. Okay, moving forward. Seven of Wands. Being defensive. Coupled with, whoa, the Knight of Swords. Um, okay, so you're not necessarily moving forward with Five of Swords energy, but you're ready to defend yourself should someone come at you. <laughs> and I'm not seeing, yes, I'm seeing, the, the Knight of Swords is definitely a fast-moving energy. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands are very similar in nature, in their fast-moving energy. The Knight of Swords is much more destructive, though, I mean, yeah, you can get burned by a fire, but I just see the Knight of Swords as much more aggressive and much more destructive. But in this energy, I'm I'm seeing this as this the only way this Knight of Swords energy comes out is if someone really pushes you. Because you've got this barrier up here. You're you're defending, you're on the defensive, you're not on the offensive, you're on the defensive. But should someone come at you the right way, there goes that Knight of Swords. So just be cautious. Okay. Um, this is also, I also see the Knight of Swords as somewhat of a Gemini card because of the communication that can come from it. This could be harsh words. Like, again, you're not, you're not really trying to cut anybody down, but should they, should they come at you the right way or the wrong way, depending on how you, depending on your perspective, you're going to have some choice words for someone. Mm. All right, moving forward, we've got Magician, manifestation. And I also feel like this is directly connected to what we were talking about with the justice in reverse and the three of wands. Using some something from the past to manifest something new in the future. Uh, the magician is coupled with the two of swords. Okay, but see, there's that depiction of like what we were talking about, what was challenging you here, feeling inadequate in some way and not being able to take a leap of faith. Well... You want to manifest something, but with the two of swords here, you feel like you uh, well you're you're at a stalemate. You don't know which way to go. This is mental in nature. You're stuck up in your head about it. I don't think this is really as big of a concern as you might think it is. I'm picking up on um, lack of faith, lack of trust in yourself. Yeah, but it's illusionary. Because ultimately, if this is something you're really passionate about, which I feel like you are with this Knight of Wands here, you will be successful. Yeah, you might make mistakes, but those are just stepping stones. It's just how you learn. I feel like some of you are really afraid of failure right now. Mainly because this is something that's very important to you. But you will overcome this. You will. Moving forward, we've got... Uh-oh. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh. That could be you, Gemini. Coupled with... The Nine of Cups in reverse. Uh, 
honestly, I really feel like this is energy you're putting towards yourself. You're being way too harsh on yourself. And as a result, you're having to like resort to drowning your sorrows, sorrows because you feel so shitty about yourself or about the situation you find yourself in. But this is also a depiction of you being so wrapped up and caught up in your head about whether or not you can actually do something and actually being really, really just flat out mean and nasty and destructive towards yourself about this, this nine of cups, this wish fulfillment, this dream that you have. It's not, that's not nice, Gemini. Don't do that to yourself. And don't allow someone else to do it to you either. This could be a situation in which this is a learned behavior. Like maybe you picked this up from like a mother or a mother figure or just someone in the past. And now it's holding you back. Mm hmm Interesting. Moving forward, we've got... Five of Cups in reverse. Coupled with, woo, the Six of Wands. See, there's your victory. When you really, uh, look, and look, you've got the Three of Cups up here too in your overall energy. So when you finally let go of this Three of Cups energy and you turn around and pick those two cups off, uh, pick, those two cups up that are behind you and move on, you've got a victory, Gemini. When you finally take that leap of faith and stop feeling like you're inadequate, stop tearing yourself down, believing that you can't succeed, you will succeed with the Six of Wands. Finally, the Hierophant. This is your higher self speaking to you. This could also be a Taurus. But um, I feel like you're learning from your higher self. You're getting messages from your higher self. You're getting encouragement from your higher self. Coupled with the star. Healing. Divine guidance. This is absolutely being divinely guided by your higher self. And there's confusion here. Because the way is not too clear. The, de the, the, the specifics of the, of the destination definitely are not clear. But ultimately, you still got to move forward if you aren't already. But understand that you have the guidance of your higher self here. Leading you every step of the way. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, there is some serious ambition here, Gemini, with the Emperor in the overall energy. I mean, you could be, you could be deceiving yourself with the High Priestess in reverse, but I think, I really think that's much more suited towards truth coming out, revealing who you truly are in some cases, honoring yourself. And not deceiving yourself about it anymore. Yeah? All right, let's get into your oracle guidance for the month. Okay. Best message for Gemini in relation to this reading, please. Here we go. Ah, number 16, soul kin, recognition, family, kinship. Here we go. We often wish for, friend, for relationships to endure long beyond their lifespan. Friendships and relationships have been drawn to us according to the lessons the soul wishes to learn. There are relationships that are most superficial, that are more superficial, and then there are those that, are, that touch us deeply. 
With great love comes the possibility for pain, and each of us must come to some kind of peace with the truth that there are relationships that will not be sustained for this lifetime. When we feel this deep recognition, we can, and, we, and when we find it very difficult to let a person go, we may be dealing with soul kin, a being with whom we may be traveling through lifetimes. This thread of relationship is strong and connected with you at present, and you have encountered a person who speaks to your very soul. Know that for now, this connection is grounded, nourishing, and full of faith. It may shift and change in time, but for now, the friendship is strong and full of, mature, of mutuality. Respect for each other's growth and dedication to the highest purpose for you both. In time, this may change, as your souls have their own destinies, and this sometimes means there will be a departure from a common code and path. But for now, this connection is one of soul family, of kin, and is one you and is one you can draw on for your own sustenance and also contribute to for the beautiful purpose of being a shining light for others. Now, I did pick up on some sort of social situation that was being released in some way. So if you ha are having trouble releasing, releasing this, then okay, yeah, soul kin. But this could also be you having this sort of energy or this sort of relationship as the focus for you. You no longer want to be surrounded by people that are not vibing with you on this deep level. Right? In some cases, these people that are surrounding you could be perpetuating this, this energy of holding you back in whatever situation you're trying to move forward in. But this would absolutely be a depiction or a, a, an expression of you taking your power back and owning your domain. And being in control of who you surround yourself with. Yeah? All right, Gemini. There it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again for the month of September. Take care. Mwah. Bye.